you know when you're so down you just feel like you can't breathe like it's something here that's what it felt like the whole time and i just thought you know what like you get, you get yourself into such a rut you don't see the bigger picture you see what happened happened and i tried to take my own life mental health is something that's not taken seriously it hasn't been taken seriously now five years later it certainly wasn't then five years ago so turning around to someone and saying oh don't, don't be silly mate you've got this 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 and this or you've got this going for you this going for you when you're depressed you do not see the good things you focus on the bad solely the bad yeah no one took it seriously at the time and it was my problem the way i saw it was it was my problem the next day was a really big wake-up call to me because I realised how serious that was the next day. I was a bit like, wow, like, what are you actually doing? I went through a really, really, really bad time. And now, everything that I've ever wanted, I've got. And they're things that are important things. I've got a beautiful fiance. I'm going to marry her in May. That's a thing to be so thankful for, to have her. I've got a baby on the way. Another thing that I've always, always wanted. Uh, you know, I'm going to have that in a few months' time. They're the things that get me through those things now. I think the more that people are talking, the more that people are addressing it, the easier it is for people to talk about it. See me as an example that however bad it gets, it can get a lot better. I think in the long run, my experiences and the things in which I've been through will help me guide my child. Before when I was ashamed to talk about it, I don't see that, I don't have that anymore. I do not have that, I know it's, whether that's because I've got past it, maybe, or whether it's just because I feel like it can help. Once you've broken that boundary and spoke about things, like even my boys now, we're tired. Because of what I went through, they'll now talk. Sometimes you don't talk to someone to have advice. Because sometimes people can't give you advice if they haven't been through it. Sometimes just talking. It's talking and that person just telling you things are gonna be okay, giving you a hug things like that. I think it's so important.